You're welcome to World of VOO. Now, I'm giving myself a pat on the back this morning because I said I will start the show at 12 uh, for the past two days now. I've been struggling with timing, but at 12, I managed to come on. And so, yes, it's a pat on the back for myself. I've been ranting. It, it's a pity you didn't hear all the stuff that I've, I've been saying, but I'm going to try and recap just to share the moment. I started by appreciating, appreciating God Almighty who has given us the privilege to witness another day. This is a new gift that we have, and I am sure we will try and make good use of this new gift, this new lease of life that we have, because you know what? No one is promised tomorrow. So today is what we have, and I pray that God will help us to use today properly, to, to, to use it productively. And I also expressed my gratitude to all the people, especially my families, especially friends, and especially my virtual uh, friends. That's my friends on the social media. I, I really want to appreciate everybody uh, as you celebrated my 50th birthday with me. Um, yeah, there's something they say in Yoruba language that I, I can't put probably. <laughs> so now it's back to normal life now. I mean, I'm still in my jubilee. I'm still celebrating and I'm still, how do you say, moving in the liberty that I have to thrive in the Lord. But yeah, we're back to serious business now. We're back to serious business now. So I want to thank you for your prayers, for your good wishes, uh, for all the postings on social media. I want to thank you also for your gifts. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate, you know, the, the sacrifices of love that you have poured into my life. God bless you all. You know, and I said, while the audio was not on, I was mentioning some, something about how life uh, is, is like sadness and joy. The sadness and joy, they are like twins in life. Um, once joy comes, you should know that sadness is waiting in the corner. But I said to myself, I have made up my mind to remain joyous no matter what life brings my way. Because I have learned in my journey that the choices we make become our life, become our result. And so I've made some choices in the past where I didn't really, really care about myself the way I should. But nowadays I have made up my mind that I am going to care about myself. <laughs> okay. Okay, my guest is talking about her network. Don't worry, keep trying, keep trying. If we can make it with video, you know, we can do audio, but I really love us to do the video. And you know, like the one I did yesterday with my father in the Lord, the video will be really nice. So keep trying, don't worry. I am still here, keep trying. So yes, I appreciate everybody. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. I thank you for your prayer. I will remain joyous. So why am I ranting about sadness and joy? It's because you, as you know, I celebrated my birthday and I was giving glory to God and thinking about the next journey of my life, the next phase of my journey. And then a few days after the news came that the head of my family, that is the, the one who is the head of the Obadara family, uh, home and abroad. <laughs> we lost him. But we we rejoice because he spent his life well, because he had a good life. Yes, he had challenges, you know, along the way with health, but God was faithful to him all through. And what can we do now? We can rejoice and thank God for his life. And we can say he has gone to rest. He has really gone to rest. A lot of people knew him as FF or FFO, Chief Obadara lived a good life. And, you know, we, we, we are proud. We are proud of, of him as the head of the family. Um, most people thought he was my biological family. I mean, father, especially people in Ogun State, in my hometown. A lot of people thought he's my biological father. In actual fact, he didn't have any daughter. He had only boys. So, yes, maybe I was the daughter that he didn't have. Um, this is a man that taught me some very deep, spiritual things about life. I learned so much about life from him. In fact, the maturity I have on, on my journey, I learned so much of it from him because every time we have opportunity to sit down, 
we, 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 we talked deep. We talked about very deep things. He opened my eyes to things that you, you wouldn't think a girl should know. And these things, you know, are still with me. And my eyes are very open to the things of God. You wouldn't know he's deep in God. I mean, he's deep in the Lord. You wouldn't know because as a traditional chief, people would think everything is about uh, what you call it, voodoo or, 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 or rituals. Or No, he wasn't into all rituals and things. He actually had deep relationship with God. So we thank God for that. And I bless the Lord that he has gone to rest. He, he spent a good life. So I appreciate all of you for, you know, for your support, for your um, condolence messages and everything. So this is world of VOO. You know, I said to you that I have guiding principles on this show. And I am looking at everything I do on the show from the angle of faith, of wellness and financial freedom. So if I am not, because everything is interwoven at the end of the day, everything is linked at the end of the day. If you have faith in God, then that can actually keep you going. That will keep you going. You cannot do without faith in God. Because if you don't have faith in God, then you will have faith in something else. But I tell you, with your faith in God, it paves way for so many things, for everything. That is our total surrender. It paves way for everything. For without God, you, what can you achieve? What can you do without the grace of God that we are enjoying? Who are we? But if you have faith and you don't have work, that would, would be the evidence of your faith, the evidence of the fact that your faith works. If you don't have work to show for it, then what's the point? And how can you work if you're not well in your spirit, soul, and body? Can you see how everything is linked? And then if you are well in your spirit, in your soul, in your body, then you'll be able to actually work to end and have financial freedom. So faith, wellness, and financial freedom. These are my focus on this show. So the people I bring on the show will be people who have something related to to the three factors that are my guiding principles. Okay, she is ready. My guest is ready to come on the show. Let me find where she is because I've got so many pages here. Right. <laughs> right, I am going to put you in the screen now. Oh my goodness. Let me quickly put you on, you know, while right, the network is good. Let's Thank enjoy this. Let's enjoy this. So this is my guest from today, I mean, for today, and she is based in Nigeria. Okay, um, give me a minute while I bring up her board again. All right, ma. So Claire Pat, Patience, yes, and Yeche G. We, well, we call her Claire Pat. That's what people call her. But her real name is Clement Patience, on Yeche G. She's the writer, a teacher, an activist. Never mind the activists in plural. <laughs> she's an activist, an entrepreneur, and she's the CEO of Majestic Ladies International. So we will be talking, uh, you know, about some of the things she has been doing in the community. So let me bring her back on, my lovely, lovely Clem Pat. It's good to have you on World of VOO. Thank you so much, ma'am. So I'm happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's okay. Um, people will be wondering what is so special about this lady that VO is bringing. What is special about her is she is an agent of change, mm -hmm. an agent of change based in Nigeria. So we're going to talk about you in a minute because I want people to know you. So I'm putting you on solo. Now, tell, just give us a bit about your background. Who is Clem Pat? All right. Like you've already introduced. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm happy to yeah. be here. And I want to especially thank you, ma'am. VOO, thank you so much for this great opportunity. Okay. I am Clem Pat officially, and I would love to be addressed as Clem Pat. Okay. I originated so from... from 
Benue where State. Are you from Nigeria, but where in Nigeria? Benue State by origin okay. and based in the northern part of Nigeria, Kaduna State precisely. Okay. Amazing. So you are actually, okay, I, I didn't even know you're in the north, funny enough. I, I didn't know you're based in the north. <laughs> Sanu, Sanu who? <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I usually tell Hello. people I'm so, a dual citizen of Nigeria. Reason is because yes, you are. My father is from Benue okay. State, Idoma to be precise, and my mother is from Kaba, Kogi State. Oh, Kwara State, Kogi State. Presently, Kaba Kogi, Kogi State. State yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. You, you are, uh, you're a true Nigerian. Because of network, I'm just gonna go on straight, and we will talk about you yes. and the, the impact part. you're making in your community. So you are a writer, you're a teacher, you're an activist, like I've mentioned, and an entrepreneur. And what actually connected you and I is Majestic Ladies International, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Coming ma back to that one. But let's talk about the writer in you. How did you get into that? And what books have you written so far? I must say that I'm one of God's own best child. Reason is because uh, becoming a writer is just like fun to me. Initially, I never take it as anything. I was thinking it was a kind of, I was having a mental case. Hmm. Each time I sleep, I woke up, I'll get inspirations and I'll be forced to write. <laughs> Whether I'm interested in doing it or not, the spirit keeps telling me, go and put it down. Get a Bible, get a book. And often time I'll go to the market, see me buying a long note, getting virus everywhere because I just want to be writing something. And over the time, I discovered that it was actually a gift from God. Mm. Mm. I decided, okay, since this is a gift, I will work on it. That was as far back as when I was 13 years old. Okay. I picked it up when I finished my secondary school and I went into the university. I told myself, patience, you're going to be reading English language. Wow. This will help you to become a better writer. Absolutely. When I was applying for this, honestly speaking, I, I was persuaded by friends and family to choose something else instead of English. But I said to myself, no, they don't know where I'm going to. They, no they don't know behind my decision to read the subject English. If they know or if they had knew, I'm sure they will support me. But because this is my own race, this is my own destiny, mm. this is my own life, mm. insisted on applying for English. My mom especially <laughs> wanted me to be a nurse. Yeah. In every day of her life, if she sees me, she sees me as a nurse. Oh, I my was goodness. Nice. I wasn't seeing myself as a nurse, not because the profession is not good enough. The profession is very okay. Pause. But no as a writer. Right from my tender age, because the spirit keeps pushing me to write. And that was how gradually I became who I am okay. today. And by the special grace of God, I've been able to author two books. One here is titled Marriage and It Paid First. Okay. Marriage and It Paid First. It happens to yeah. be my first book, actually. And this... So what, what's that one about? Mar Let's just, you know, just a, a brief summary. What's marriage yeah. and it paid first like, about? We all know marriage is deep. <laughs> there are lots of ups and downs in marriages. Mm, mm. Not curtailed. Some will become disastrous. So hmm. I put down I this key to encourage people who are going through a lot in marriages. You can see the picture on it, the pit that the man is angry, the woman is angry, and there are lots to that. So after a while, I published this book, and honestly, it makes a lot of sales. I've sold about wow. 2,500 copies already of this very book. Wow. 
Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes. So this book is addressing issues in marriage, isn't it? Yes. Okay. It's addressing terrible issues in marriage and providing okay. solutions to them, encouraging. Okay. And then the second one. And the second one, I know. And the, the second the, one, yes. Exactly. The second one, it's a novel. My pride. Okay. Right. This is about a young girl, a young maiden. Hmm. In the 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 background of the book in the, uh, my home country, the place where I originated from, we have yes. this history that girls are not actually expected to be educated. Hmm. They are supposed to, to be groomed for marriage. And anything hmm. outside that is being classified as waywardness. In the north, in northern part of Nigeria especially. Yes, and even from my own country home, it was like that before modern days. Hmm. A girl hmm. is seen as a wife and not more than a wife. Not more. Trying to do any other thing, you're on your own. And most parents hmm. will not even accept that. Most parents will not allow you to go into any other thing apart from just get ready to get married to your husband. husband. Not minding the age of the man or the age of the girl. I could remember when I was growing up, my grandmother told me she got married as early as 14, 15 years. Wow. Yes, she actually told me that. A teenager, actually. Yes. So wow. a lot of things like that. So many people have such stories. And it prepared me to write this book, My Pride. My Pride. Okay. So where are the books available now? Where can we get your books? Yes, you can get them in the libraries. Some of our libraries okay. here in Nigeria, you can get them in bookstores too. Okay. All right. So you are also a teacher. So I, I can see the link between all of these things now. So you're also a teacher. Were you like a proper teacher in schools? Yes, ma'am. I, I am a teacher and it's us inborn. Hmm. I so much love so teachers much while I was being Fortunately, I was always uh, paired with a teacher who lives around my home. Right. So each time she goes to work, she will come and pick me. Then I was five years old. I so much love her ghost. I love her, 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 her packaging. <laughs> <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> yeah. She dresses okay. so clean, so neat. She looks very presentable. And you know, the best part of her, she speaks very fluent English. English. And I, I say see. to myself, claim part when you grow up, you're going to be a teacher. Wow. You're going to emulate this young woman. And that was how I became so <laughs> addicted to becoming a teacher. And I also learned that you have, you have a um, club for kids as well. What's, the, what's that club about? You said what? You have a club for young kids where you coach them. Yes. I have Spelling Bees Club. Okay. I do that every Saturday. I have numbers of children that come around me. I teach them spellings. I teach them um, debates. I teach them lots like quiz. And um, most of them will go into exercises too. And, and this is sometime, free. And this is free in the community. Yeah, it's free. I don't collect a dime from anybody. Rather, I try to even give them gifts to encourage them to learn. Amazing. I salute you. I salute you. I salute you. I really, really you, salute you. Okay, so we, we are going to talk about, because I'm just looking into your profile, and I, I really want you to break it down so people will understand, you know, the, the efforts you've been making in your own community. So you are an activist. Like yes, ma'am. What, kind of, what kind of work have you been doing? Have you been contributing to as an activist? Yes, oftentimes, like I told you earlier, the spirit tells me, do this, and I obey, because I know this is a good thing. Right. So most of the time, when the spirit leads me to give, I give to widows when I have. I give to orphans. I pay school fees for children, teenagers in schools. I also feed the needy when necessary, because okay. I do tell them that I don't give because I have a lot. No. I have okay. nothing, actually. But I give because I know how it feels to have nothing. 
Okay, so okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean by an activist because I was thinking that maybe you're an activist like the polit politicians and the rest of them, you know, or, or people who are no. fighting for something. You're actually doing the work in the community. Okay, yes, so I, I, let's talk about um, Clempart. Let's talk about Clempart. Let's talk about the community initiative that brought us together. That is the Majestic um, Ladies. Ladies International, yes, ma'am. Now, let's talk about that. What birthed that initiative? All right. Like I said earlier, in our society, you see that there are so many young ladies out there. Some are married, some are divorced, and uh, some are still searching, single and searching. Hmm. I noticed that there are so many, a common uh, problem attached to everyone. Most ladies that suffer in marriage or that are being intimidated in marriages are because yeah. they are being intimidated because they don't have a voice. Mm, tell me about it. They are being oppressed because they notice that their oppressors actually notice that they don't have anybody around them that can stand for them, that can defend them, that can fight for them. Mm. So in these cases, I put it upon myself that not that I have power of my own, but by the grace of God, I would reach out to people in that category. Right. And because I have my own experiences, it is said that experience is a great teacher. It is. I have my own experiences in life. I also, I usually empathize with this kind of people. What are they feeling? What are they suffering? I mean to say, do, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you want me to break into that a bit? Do you want to share a bit of your experience with us? Um, not now. Some not of now. that time, please. That's yes, right. ma'am. Right. Right. <laughs> Some of that time, yes, ma'am. Okay. So, a lot of ladies have, and I've come in contact with several of them, we discussed, and I, I told myself, okay, I'll be able to do one or two things for you. Hmm. If you're the type that, that is not having handwork, yes. If you don't have a handwork, because I believe when you have handwork, you have something to do, especially mm. uh, your pressure will limit their power towards you. Yeah. You will have a choice as well, isn't it? If you have yes, ma'am. You also have your own say. So I usually come in to support this kind of people with the little I have. Mm. It is either financially or I give advice to them. Or at the same time, if, like I said, if it's somebody that needs handwork, I'll make sure I do my best so that the person will have at least one or two things doing. Hmm. So you also organize empowerment initiatives. Um, I yes, know people use this word empowerment anyhow. People will gather some people together, women together, and talk and talk and talk and talk. And they say they've empowered the woman by just talking to them. But I know you do no. much more than that. Yes, ma'am. You just, you know, tell us some of the things you do, you know, in the community. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Like when I do, what I do, I organize seminars. Okay. I also, I meet with organizations, churches, schools. I discuss my person with them and what I have on the table to offer. Okay. If it's like, if it's a church, women forum, I usually tell them, okay, this is what I can do. I can produce Vaseline, I can produce detox, I can produce room freshener, I can produce Isa, lots of them detergents and antiseptics in okay. general. Toiletries, generally. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, if there is anybody that is interested in such organization, the owner of the organization will bring out the list of those people. I don't collect money from anybody. Wow. They will give me the list of the people. I'll fix the time. I'll project myself, and I'll deliver what I have for them. Sometimes you, I get resource persons. Yeah. How to make you actually teach them how to make these things, the toiletries? Yes, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Wow. Yes, of course. Wow. Now, if it's something I know that I cannot really teach, I'll get a resource person. Sometimes I'm privileged to meet a resource person that will do it free, and mm -hmm. some other time they may not choose, they may not want to do it free of charge. Whichever way, I'll just make sure that whatever 
I want to teach is being taught and we'll settle each other after the program. Wow. This is amazing. You know, this is this is actually what attracted, that's the attraction because here in the United Kingdom, I have loads of women who are doing similar thing as well. They, you know, who are happy to empower other women to transfer skills, you know, to other women and not, not charging as well. Who, who, because we're trying to reach out to a particular how do you say particular area of needs yes. in the woman yes. and maybe the yes, woman is going through a journey who cannot even afford to eat to do the chocolate yes, or paying for you know to learn something. So yeah, we yes. have also been doing something like that in, in, in the United Kingdom and I still have loads of ladies who are doing the same thing. And mm. this is why I am celebrating you today, Clem Hart. Because people you, think of Nigeria and they can't do anything for free. Oh, <laughs> Why even our leaders are saying the, the people are lazy, you know, the young people are lazy. I know a number of people like you who are passionate about helping other people to rise up. And, you know, I am happy. I am really happy. I also want to talk about, because I was reading something in the forum about, you know, there was a fire incident or accident that happened in, in was it Lagos? I think it was Lagos. I can't yes, remember. it was Lagos. It was Lagos. And you actually arrange people to go and visit them in the hospital. I was reading, I follow everything, you know, I'm very quiet in the forum, but I, I'm reading everything and everything that everyone is saying, how you are, how you organize people to raise money. So you ladies actually put your own money together to, to support this, these people. Can you share that experience with me? I'm not going to show the pictures, you know, of anybody at all concerning this. All right. Just all the right. experience of ladies that went on behalf of Majestic International. All right, ma'am. So, um, so many times we have issues like that. Some, maybe in the hospital, some that are helpless. And mm. just like you mentioned, the issue of that fire incident. Mm. Now, when the issue came up, I actually teamed up with other organizations too. Okay. And we made it because at the point they were telling me that they don't allow people into the premises. Yeah. Why? I don't even I said, know. Okay. Why? Since there are other... Yes, because they wouldn't want people to escalate the, the true nature of what is happening there. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, that is the only reason. So, the other thing, the other NGO I t we team up with, they were privileged to know somebody there and they organized everything. We supported and okay. we actually sent the token we have to them. So I, I learned that some of the victims were just in agony. They didn't get any yes. medical support. Some whatsoever. died, actually. Yes, some were not wow. given treatment, ma. Wow. Wow. So the, the news we got in the media is quite different from the news, uh, from, from the actual fact. This is the problem in Nigeria. It's quite different yes. because we didn't even know that it affected so many people like that. We got the wrong figures as well. There were lots of victims, ma. And we lost actually quite a number of them. What a shame. So yeah. now let's come back to Majestic Ladies International now, you know, and, and the work you're doing. Because I really want you to, to let people understand the, the challenges that you're going through to make another woman's life better. Mm. Where do you get funding to do all these things? Who they, who they give you money to do these things? <laughs> I like this grammar. <laughs> yes, yeah, so of course, you know, when you're doing something, it is either you're getting money from your own personal pocket or somebody somewhere, a good Samaritan must be in support of it. Yes. Right. Whichever way, most of the time I do my thing myself. Yes. Hmm. I do reach out myself from my own pocket. Hmm. And some other times when I feel that or when I notice that the, maybe the problem we're about to, to, to attain to is big and needs mm. extra, I solicit for fund. I tell mm. the people who are willing to help reason why this fund must be raised. Yeah. Yes. If it's to visit somebody in the hospital, I don't hide whatever I'm doing. I'll explain everything and what and what needs to be done and how much is fit for such uh, a problem to be resolved. Amazing, amazing. Okay, and uh, I also saw the Pad a Girl initiative. That's another beautiful yes. one that you're doing. So yes, you, 
Okay, tell me about Paddy Girl. Don't let me, you know. <laughs> yes, Paddy Girl, like the name uh, implies. We're encouraging the society to look into the, the affair of a girl child. A girl child happens to be the mother of the world because yeah. without a girl, there wouldn't be anybody. You're right. It takes a woman, a girl, a woman to give birth to a child. Yes. Be it a boy or a girl. Now, these ladies, these women go through a lot. You understand me? These yeah. women, every month, some, when they are menstruating, oh my God, every part of their body is like, maybe somebody is beating them. Mm. They are in pain. They mm. suffer a lot of pain, yes, to say. Now, this kind of people, some go taking drugs. Some need little, little herbs to keep them fit again. And some suffer overflow. There's what we call mm. overflow. Mm. Extra overflow is another different page on its own. Wow. If you, Can you are, explain that? What's that? Yes, I'm coming to it, ma'am. If you are a worker now and you're to go to your office or you're a business person and you're to go to the marketplaces or to your shop and people are there around you, now you want to sell. People are behind you, people are in the front of you and so everywhere. Mm. Fortunately or unfortunately, rather, sometimes we get stained. Yeah. And the, the, the most funniest aspect of it is when you are stained, people feel, ah, this one is unkept. Now, people look down on you that you did not really take good care of yourself. Mm. Now, it might not really be that you're not taking care of yourself. When overflow comes, it comes in, 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 in by, there is a force attached to it. It flows yeah. in essence. Yes, yeah. it flows Especially in essence. maybe the woman has a, a health issue as well, like fibroid. Yeah. Yes, 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 ma'am. People with fibroid. People with a case of fibroid actually suffer a lot of yeah. overflow. I, I had fibroid and I know <laughs> I know what it is, the pain and the flow. Thank you well. so much for confirming, ma. Mm. Now, those kind of people, well, they can use two, three pads at once, yet yeah. it will not be enough. Within the range of two to three hours, they have to change. How True. many pads would they use in a week? Can they even afford? That's the problem. How many? Now, some of these people cannot even afford to buy a pad. Hmm. Most of them go about using pieces, using tissue, which is very dangerous to health. Yeah. And they use rags. Some of these tissue, the particles people. go into the woman's body, and hmm. at the end of the day, it will begin to cause infections. Hmm. Hmm. So, so tell now, me about this Padigal now. So, what are you doing with Padigal? Yes. Thank, I mean, hey, thank you for giving us the background of you know your why, the reason, which is great. So what yes, do you now do with Paddy Girl? How do you now support these women and these young girls? All right. We look into areas where there are actually people in need of it. Mm. Because we believe, which to me, I believe is, is deceptive. Because not everybody in the urban area can actually afford to pay bills. Not everybody can afford three square meal. Not everybody in the urban area can also buy a pad. True. But the society believes that everybody in the city can do all this. All right. In the midst of all this, there are some people that we have been able to see into their cases. And we visited them. You discover that they're not even using pad. They have never even used pad. Wow. They don't even know how to use pad. Wow. So girl we teach people how to make use of a pad Good. we teach people the advantages of it now if it's in a school setting we teach the students why they need to use a pad okay now we also bring up debates like the last one we did there is the debate we organized pad mm. versus pieces and a lot of people, a lot of the girls were saying pieces because their parents have trained them with that mm. mindset of using pieces. Mm. Good or bad, you have to use the pieces. Mm. You have to use any pieces, oh, for goodness sake. Some of these pieces are just rags. Rags, yes. I had rags this and I had story of a girl. She said she uses rags that she will put a plastic bag inside it and wrap the rag around the plastic bag. And that's what she uses. The same. I have that one. 
Mm. Yes, ma'am. And as uh, as a child, when I was in the secondary school, in the in the in just one precisely, that was when I started menstruating. Now I don't have a full knowledge of what it was. No, that is the maintenance of it, not the definition of it. Mm -hmm. I do not know how to go about maintaining myself when menstruating. No, not because my parents did not tell me, because they were actually far away from me. Mm. I was living with my grandma, her blessed memory. I was living with her then, and I was not having the confidence to even approach her and say, Grandma, I'm having this, or I'm, I'm seeing this. Mm. <laughs> I was actually scared. Maybe something else was happening to my system. <laughs> what could it be? Where did I go to? And all of that, I was somebody that I, could be, I can be very reserved. So I kept it to myself. I packaged it. The stain was so irritating. I just went into the bedroom. I took my bed, actually. It was later on I had to confide in her. Ma, I saw something like this on me. Oh, and she yeah. said, what? what did you explain to her? She went and picked the, the, um, the clothes and the, the, the panties. She picked them from oh, where I actually hid them. Wow. And she washed them. She taught me how to wash them. Wow. But I was not happy with the pieces or washing anything of such. Wow. It was irritating. So since then, I've been having that feeling within me. Why should a girl go through all this when there is uh, an alternative? Of course, pad, using mm. a pad is far better. It is. It is. No hygiene. Yeah. yeah. And this Good. Yes. Okay. So, so, see, so, so it has sorry, I'm just going to put it short there because I know we can go on and on. So you raise <laughs> fund as well. You you also raise fund to, to yes, give parts to these young people and, and the women. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Amazing. I do. I raise fund personally and I also seek for solic I solicit for fund from friends and well wishers and people with the same mindset, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people may not see the big deal in what you are doing, but actually yes, it is I a big that. deal. It is a real big deal. And that's why I'm, I'm, you know, I'm exposing this to the people in my network. Maybe Thank some you people so much, have the good mind to, to support this. It is a big deal because it's, it part, is, of the, it's part of growing up for the younger and it's part of the yes, health as well. So it's I, not just... I talk, sorry, please. I tell people is a major need. In as much as you know the value of a food or food, mm. you can give somebody food to eat. I also believe that pad is more or less like a food it is. because it's a need that it must is. be met. A serious one. A serious one. Now, the society go about uh, organizing seminars for the use of condom and all of that. Mm. What? For what? Mm. You can. Uh, like protect yourself, you can isolate yourself, you can choose not to do these things. Yes. And you are still fine, you are still very okay. Yes. You have choices, yes, you have choices. Thank but you, ma no. you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. We are mandated to do these things all the days of our okay until we get to monopause. Mm. So, why is it that nobody is understanding the fact that somebody needs help? Mm. Is a major need. We are not going to keep quiet about this. Oh, I celebrate you. We are not going to let it let it go. We are going to keep talking about it. The society must look into it. Either we subsidize, subsidize part or we make it free. Yeah, I agree with you on this. I really, lot I totally of people agree. cannot afford this. I totally agree with you on this. Because it's part of uh, it's part of what gives a lady uh, self confidence as well. Thank you very much, Ma, for that. Yes, I celebrate. It's so, now, I am just going to say something quickly now um, for the people watching me at this point in time. You know, yes, sometimes when it's your birthday, you want to celebrate, and you're thinking, "Oh, I want to bless somebody." These are the mm. kind of projects you can bless. This is a yes. kind of, as you can say, you know, for my birthday, I want to support Paddy Girl. 
Yes. So people are doing so many, you know, community initiatives and support work. But if we are not supporting them, it's too much for one person. Now, Claire okay. Hardy is doing this from her own money and soliciting from friends because I saw, you know, I saw these promos every now and then where they are looking for help. She's not looking for money to look after herself. She's got, no. I mean, if you're, not, if you're not even doing all of these things, by now you'll be a multimillionaire. You know, you'll be <laughs> sure. You know, but I bless God for your mind, for your spirit, for the kind of spirit you have. The spirit, you know, the selfless um, sacrifices that you are making in your community, not just in your immediate community. You are even going as far as Lagos or, you know, wherever. I can see you just everywhere. And it's amazing that we have some Nigerians who truly, truly cares. And it's not because they are looking for publicity. It's not because they want people to be, you know, to be celebrating that. But I chose to celebrate you today because i have been watching you now for a long time i've been following you i've been following all your efforts and thank I you so much Ma. it's genuine that's why you, you know you, that's why you, i said you know i'm going to celebrate this lady. you are actually doing what you say you are doing and um, thank you so much Ma. you're welcome so i'm going to continue to support your projects I'm going to continue Thank to talk so about much. your projects on my show. And I'm going to, in fact, all, all the people in my network, I'm going to start dragging them now by fire, by force. They need to start supporting, you know, what you're doing. And I know that so, so many people are watching this show now and they will support you. Um, how can people contact you? I know you're on social media. So how, what are your social media handles? Where where are you? Where? Facebook, I'm on Instagram. Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, and I'm... Um, um, my email is functioning. It's okay. active. Okay. Or, or better still, if you go on my Facebook page or, or my or my profile as well, her name is there. She's one of my main contacts. Her, her name is there. Click on that name or just search up her name if you really, really want to support any of the projects she's doing. So I want to talk about quickly before I release you. I want to talk also about the 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 training, the workshops you do. Um, the yes, ma'am teach people how, how do you go about it if someone is interested in learning maybe how to make a petroleum jelly or even if it's just air freshener so how do, how okay. do you go about this training yes like those that are far away from my location i have a okay. um, whatsapp group where i teach right. i have i have notes readily right. available okay so I like have, instructions I have videos where you can see the the, the, the step by step um, ways of making or producing all the products. Okay. And do do you, simple. And you also, do you think this is something we can do like like we are today? Do you think it's something we can do on this show where we just have a day where you just demonstrate, not like teach everything, but just demonstrate some of the things? Do you think we should organize okay. it? Yes, ma, we can. Okay. I, 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 I really appreciate that. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I mean, are there other things, other things that you want to share, you know, with us, some of other projects that you're doing that you want to share with us that you want the people to know about? Yes, I I will actually want to encourage people more of. Okay, that's the network. Like, connection now. Everybody you think they are, as strong as you think they are, there are people that actually need help, hmm. and they need this help not from an angel from heaven, but from you and I. Hmm. So in what, whatever, whichever little way you can support somebody, in whatever little thing you can give to somebody, yes, you cannot really take over the responsibility of anybody, but that little thing you will do will go a long way to ease the stress of the person. So I really want to encourage us, please. Everybody, be it in US, be it in Nigeria, all over the world, right. please let's stretch our hands and help others. It will go a long way. God bless you. And your books, where can we get your books if we want to buy the books to support your 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 own all personal right. adventure? Yes. Okay. I for now I will say contact me or contact um my pages my facebook page or my whatsapp my handles contact me anywhere you will get information on where to get them uh, that is right. closer closer to you mm. okay all right thank you so much Glenn Pat. Um, i just want to put this board on again so that people can see um 
Right, that is you. Thank you so much. You know, uh, I appreciate your time and even the 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 data that you have used to be on this show today because I know for calling from Nigeria, it's data as well. Huh? You know, being on the show is data, and I celebrate you today. I pray that God will continue to to bless you and help you. And you are a helper of destiny and agents of change. And I call people who do this, I call them vision helpers. Because for a woman to rise up and say, you know what, I want to support another woman so that she can rise up like me, so that she can have you know, a source of income at, at least to be able to look after herself and maybe her children. It, you are a vision helper. You, you are one of the people that God is using to make changes in the world. And I salute you today. I celebrate your claim part. And I love you. Thank you so much, Ma. I love you too, Ma. I love you so much. God Thank bless. you so much for being there for us. We are proud of you. On behalf of Majestic Ladies International, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to air our mind. We are proud of you. Thank God. I'm very proud of everybody too. We, we, we are going to achieve a lot together by the grace of God. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to Amen. release you now so you can go now. Thank you so much. And I'll, Thank I'll catch up with you. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a recap now. Um, let me take you on. Okay, so you are watching World of VOO. You know, I mentioned at the beginning of this show when I relaunched that we are going to be we are going to be looking into issues relating to faith, issues relating to wellness and financial freedom. Now, those are the things we'll be looking into. So I, I I thank God, you know, for how this show is coming up. Can I use this opportunity? Now, don't mind me, quiet storm, <laughs> the focus, uh, agents of change, quiet storm. That's supposed to be quiet storms, quiet storms. You know, someone like Clem Pat, a very gentle lady she is, very gentle lady, but she is passionate and she's on fire for God. She has been helping and supporting people in her community for so long and when I came across all the work she's doing, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, Because for me, some people think I'm stupid in my head when I say, oh, let's do this. Let's support people, uh, people who, you know, who are having challenges, who are going through journeys. Let's support them. Let's you know, help them to do something. People think, oh, you want to continue to do everything for free? No, we cannot do everything for, for free for everybody. For instance, my own kind of service, there are people I will charge. And there are some people I will, I, will, I will know that there's a kind of service that I can offer and I won't charge. So everything is not free for everybody. But when you see a fellow woman going through difficult period and you have the opportunity, you have these resources to help and support, please do so. And more so, if you have the opportunity and the resources to teach the person how to fish, Please do so. Because you as the light, if you use your light to light another candle, your light will not quench. Everybody will shine bright. That's what I believe. I don't believe in looking down on people because of the situation they find themselves. I don't do that. I respect everybody because what I see in them is the greatness of God inside of them that their circumstances is trying to perish and to, I mean to bury. Because I have been through that journey as well. I know when I see every woman, every human being has got gifts, has got potentials to be great if they have the right mindset, the right support, given the right atmosphere sometimes. And if they understand that life, opportunities may not come, you create your own opportunity. And that's why on my show, when I do my talk shows, I don't pretend, I don't come and pose. I let you see it real, the way it is. When I struggle, you see it. 
when I was ill, you see it because I am real. I am a human being. I'm not just coming to dazzle you like, you know, everything is rosy, 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 rosy. But in the process of this journey, I have developed the mindset to keep going. And it's not just me. It's the, 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 the grace of God that came upon me and the so many people that God is using to push me on. Even days when I become tired and weary. Don't give up on anybody. Don't look down on anybody. Rather, the people you have come across, they are part of your destiny, either you like it or not. And when you help somebody, you are actually helping yourself. It's a spiritual thing, unless we get to that point and understand it. We are not meant, we're, 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 meant, we're created like, a, like a chain. We are linked. And we're supposed to remain linked to help one another. To help each other as we come in contact with each other and we're supposed to continue that chain and don't allow that chain to break because there's always a ripple effect and we can see it in our community as well can we say we are thriving no we're not thriving the way god wants us to thrive because what you need the raw material that you need is the finished product in somebody's hands but when you are keeping malice with that person, when you're bringing that person down with malice, malicious, you know, announcements, how are you? How, how will the blessings flow? Until we get to the point where we understand this. That's why I am celebrating Clem Pat today on this show. To so many people, what she's doing, they think, oh, it's not a big deal. Well, it is a big deal deal what she's doing she's not even charging so please i implore you to support somebody like that maybe it's not clean part maybe you have somebody else who is making an effort to empower other people to transfer skills to them to help them to have you know their own financial freedom it's important for everyone to have financial freedom either your man or woman you know your boy or your girl it's good and as you know that i'm passionate about women you know and about girls it's important, I keep saying for a woman, it's important for us to have our own financial freedom, to have our own income. Don't listen if your man is saying, you know, don't worry, I'll be giving you so, so much every month. Take this so, so much every month. Save it and start looking into business that you will do with that so, so much that it's going to be given you. Because you know what? It doesn't go, nothing goes forever. It's sweet today and rosy today. If something happens along the way, as you know, anything can happen along the way, I'm not being negative you should be able to now step in and support. But imagine if it's just your spouse that is doing the work, just your husband doing the work, and you don't have your own income. When something happens, it's going to turn around and tell you that you're a witch. You're the one bewitching me. That's why all these things happen to me. If after a little while, he starts to kick you about. And if you're not careful, there's another woman waiting outside who has got good income. Your man will just, you, you know, he will just change apartment. You go to the other room with the other woman before you know it. And also for yourself as well as a woman to be able to take care of yourself. To be able to enjoy your own life without waiting for a man to look after you. When I was younger, I was into everything. I wasn't a lazy girl. I didn't have time. I was, you know, making efforts to look after myself. It was tough. But I have my pride. And so that's why, you know, I said a sacrificial giver and a vision helper, Clem Pat. This is that the woman I've been celebrating on this show. Um, and I hope you will connect with her, please. So I'm going to bring another guest tomorrow by the grace of God. Remember, I have, how to say, decided that I am going to move on. I am going to achieve my destiny. And it's never too late to rise up. I don't know what life is throwing at you at the moment. You can just keep going. Because if you don't, you're going to look back in some years and think, why didn't I just go on with my life? Life will throw so many things at us. We don't have to wait and pick everything. Otherwise, the luggage, the load, the garbage, the baggage will be too heavy. And we will not be able to move at the pace that God wants us to move to achieve our destiny. When life throws all sorts at you, 
look around and pick the ones that are useful for you. Use them and then move on. Don't carry all the baggage, uh, all the baggage that life is throwing at you because you don't need any heavy load. You have enough load. You have enough cross to carry. People may support you and people may not. But I tell you what, when you focus on God, when you trust in God, when you take it to God, he will place destiny helpers along your path. God will not leave you alone. And I am speaking to you from experience. I am on a journey with God, a journey where I want to depend on God for everything, a journey of faith. Because I want to be able to, when I retire, to be able to say to you, you know what? You can depend on this God completely without any iota of doubt. I am there already. God has shown me enough love and mercy and grace. He is using so many people for me that I know that this is not ordinary. This is not natural. It's supernatural. And I can even at this point say to you, God is real. If you have an encounter with this God, you will understand God is real. You can trust God completely. You can remove your hand from the little, little sins and you can trust God completely. And day by day, God will begin, the Holy Spirit will begin to work on, on you because that is the journey I'm going through now. We're not there yet. And I don't think we will get there while we are here on this side. But what we can do to cooperate with the Holy Spirit, to lead us to that expected end, we need to do. And we should remember that we need to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. But first, we must love God, the creator. I'm going to thank you now because I need to run now. Thank you so much for joining me on this show whenever you're watching because I will do the watch party in case you have missed the live show. I really appreciate this um, network today because it was good. And I thank God for the network from Nigeria. That was superb. That was superb, superb, fantastic. Um, whatever you decide to do for the rest of the day, please take care of yourself. Um, remember, it's not over until it's over. And God will not forget any of us. I'm going to step out now and play this music by Rosalind Jacobs. I wanted to play it and leave it underneath my voice while I was talking, but I actually forgot because when I'm doing my my speech, I actually love music to be on there. Now, Rosalind Jacobs, her music is available on YouTube. The new one, Baba God. It's one track you need to listen to if you want to appreciate God, especially if you don't even have the right words to appreciate the goodness of God in your life. While this season will roll over quickly, remember your faith is not seasonal. Our faith is supposed to be every day, every hour, every minute, every second on the Lord. And I know that God will not disappoint you. So I want to thank God for the opportunity I have on this show. And just before I go, can I quickly tell you about this product? You know, Cleasy Scent. I don't know if you can see it properly. Cleasy Scent. So this is produced by a sister in the community. And I just want to encourage you to support this business. Please support this business. If you use perfume, please. I, I'm, beg, I'm actually begging. You need to support this business. You know, when people make efforts to start a trade or business, we need to remember also to support them. It's important that we support them. So this lady, Cleasy Beauty World, that's the name of the company, Cleasy Beauty World. She has put this together. She's got uh, true love. This is true love. And she's got love. So if you have love, get true love. And if you don't have any, get love. Get love, get true love. Send love to somebody. Send true love to somebody. 
please remember to support her. If you want to know more about the product, you can get in touch with me as well. And um, she is also looking for distributors. She's looking for distributors across the world. If you're interested in selling this product, please do. Please get in touch with me or just type Cleasy. Cleasy Beauty. Cleasy Beauty World. You know, just type that into your search engine and I'm sure you get in uh, her contacts. Or better still, just, you know, get in touch with me. That's easier and faster. And I will link you up with her. Please let us support businesses in our community. Because if we don't support them, it will be hard for them to grow. And we are encouraging people to start their own business. We are encouraging people to, you know, have financial freedom, to have income. We say all these things. We say we're supporting women, women supporting women. We say all these things. They're very easy to say. But to actually put into practice, I think it's becoming hard. But I pray that Jehovah God will give us the spirit and the heart to love each other so much, to support one another's business and everything. So thank you so much as you think about that and as you support her. And remember, Clem Pat, my guest on the show today as well, she's got all the charity works going on in Nigeria, supporting people, uh, impacting people's life, helping people to start their own little business by teaching them how to produce like toiletries, you know, and other crafts like that. And she's interested. If you want to learn, you can get in touch with her. Uh, thank you so much. If I leave out anything, I think I've spoken about everything. If I leave out anything, pardon me. Take care of yourself whatever you choose to do for the rest of the day and have a very, very fruitful, fruitful day. So I'm going to leave you with the music of Rosalie Jacobs for now. Thank you.
There is nothing to help. Rabaka, we keep, we keep you when the go shall break. There is nothing to help for you. There is nothing you cannot do. Rabaka, we give you. Lele le ba ka na na ko sha la e mi yo ku ki ga na te mo ba story changer there's nothing you cannot